Texas and a coalition of Republican-led states on Friday sued President Joe Biden's administration over a new program that offers a path to citizenship for immigrants who entered the U.S. illegally and are now married to U.S. citizens. The lawsuit argues the program, which began accepting applications on Monday, oversteps the administration's authority to provide relief to those without legal status and circumvents the intent of U.S. immigration laws. The initiative, called Keeping Families Together, provides a path to citizenship to an estimated 500,000 immigrant spouses who entered the U.S. illegally and have at least 10 years of residence. Without this option, many would need to leave the U.S. for years before being able to return legally. Republicans have made illegal immigration a central focus of the November 5 presidential election where former President Donald Trump, a Republican, will face off against the Democratic candidate, Vice President Kamala Harris. America First Legal, an organization led by Trump adviser Stephen Miller, served as co-counsel in the lawsuit alongside Texas and 15 other states with Republican attorneys general. Miller, a driving force behind Trump's restrictive policies during his 2017-2021 presidency, called the Biden program brazenly unlawful in a statement. Keeping families together also allows some 50,000 children under age 21 with a U.S. citizen parent to obtain temporary parole status that creates a path to citizenship. White House spokesperson Angelo Fernandez Hernandez said the Texas lawsuit aimed to separate families and goes against our nation's values. Texas has repeatedly clashed with the Biden administration in court over immigration and border issues. A federal appeals court in July said Texas could keep a large floating barrier in the Rio Grande River intended to block migrants illegally crossing from Mexico.